All right, guys. So uh, let's continue our modeling of our car. Uh, just to, like style as the car. Okay. Uh, so we got this like a front. We are ready, but we haven't got the, the like the back side of this car ready. So uh, yeah, let's continue. And um, yeah. I haven't figured out a way, and the thing's there's no comment. Uh, nobody's uh, like uh, give me advice, so uh, I guess I have to use the like the old methods of doing things. <laughs> so uh, I have to like uh, going this all this the hard way by um, cut it and adding uh, geometries and do all that. Okay, so. Uh, Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, get on like a car from front, and here I'm thinking. Okay, we we got like a this is a, like a front window here, and we I think it's a sports car. I'm going to make. Okay, here comes the problem. How can I get like it? This two face. How can this two face like it connected? In some sort of way, can I can I do this? Okay, uh, I think I got it. So I have to like select in that holding shift, select the two faces together, and uh, press F. So I can combine the, uh, uh, and uh, that, that that's pretty good. And I think I can fix some of the um, polygon as here as well. So I'm going to select this, 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 unlead all that. So uh, F, combine all this uh, unnecessary. Um, yeah, can I do this? Uh, let's uh, let me think about this. Maybe make it. Um, yeah, I changed my mind. I'm going to leave like the center line here, not combined, because I might use that in the future. So yeah, these two are your need. So maybe I need it. I'm not sure. Let's just uh, you know just leave it for now. Okay, maybe just a one. I think I can use one, two, three to change it. So one, two, three, and uh, to change the mode, let's go to the side view, grab it, Z axis, going down. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, here, um, let's change the uh, like here. Okay, just grab everything down. Okay. Uh, I think I can do this. Just to grab the axis, grab it down a little bit. Okay, and uh, so it's a sports car. Um, so this would be like the door, window door. So it's starting here, going up. Yeah, I can live with that. So yeah, the top. I'm thinking of like a door shape. Okay, I'm going to do something interesting. Uh, get this one. Can I grab it? Front a little bit? Yeah, I can. Yeah, let's do this. I'm going to grab this to a front. Um, so get like more sports. Uh, like sports car like the thing and uh, I'm going to select a face okay I'm going to make a window okay so uh, side view yeah so there will be a window and there will be a door yeah I can do this so I insert it uh, like a little bit can I do this yeah, the result does not seem to be good enough. So, for example, if I use like I insert, doesn't 
Yeah, I think maybe I need to, you know, apply the changes. Okay. Um, yeah, basically, uh, what, what I'm doing right now is to combine the phases that uh, you need uh, because I, I, I sort of want it, the uh, uh, the car to be uh, fairly, you know, low poly, um, so I can add more stylization. Okay, so um, window door. Yeah. How to, here comes the problem, how to actually, you know, like, uh, insert this without actually, you know, go through all this hassle. Okay, let me just insert it first and then change things. Okay, because I can always, you know, um, it's just uh, doing something like this. Okay, just to relatively set things. Um, can I first go to the object mode and select this object and uh, apply all transformation? Can I do that? Still, it should have a mirror modifier applied. And then I can tap. Okay. I I think I'm supposed to go to edit mode. Then I can. Okay. Uh, if I, you if you apply the changes, that uh, proportion uh, is better. Okay. So. Yeah. Pretty cool. So can okay, insert. Get a relatively. You know, a window shape, and I think I can combine all this. Hopefully, F. Okay. Uh, no, I can't. I can't do this. Sorry about that. Uh, so maybe I can just uh, you know one by one maybe. Okay, I can do this one by one without connecting all the unnecessary parts. Okay, I can't close this. I can't close this. Um. Yeah. Okay, so maybe not close this in this matter. Okay, let's just redo this. Okay, so okay, that uh, can be the window. That can be the window. I'm not complaining. This, uh, yeah, this is good. Get this on like an anchor on different places. And let's continue. Okay, I can get like a center line. That's much better from the like a polygon point of view, the faces point of view. I just decreased faces I don't need, the poly I don't need. Okay, I can even I think uh, yeah it's uh, it's element. Yeah let's just just not worry about it. And finish with the uh, like the wheel here. I'm thinking this wheel should be like the at the back side of this car. Okay. And uh, um this post to be like the back rather than you know further back rather than here so I'm thinking I'm thinking okay can I say make this line or maybe just make this dot okay can I make this dot maybe make this line um, grab this maybe just there Make it more, you know, front. So the door would be something like this. Okay, and can I just got this specific dot? Okay, this is a, like a face. We can't do that. Um, 
Can I add more? One more thing here. Or maybe I'm going to you know, get every line in here. Like uh, move forward a little bit. Okay, can I do this? Just get the dots. Selecting all the dots. Can I grab it. Okay. Move forward a little bit. Can I do this? Yeah, obviously I can. Um. I think same goes for all this line. We can uh, like drastically increase the doors size. Okay, without actually uh, changing the geometry uh, below. Of course, I, I think you can grab it front just to make it uh, like nicely curve, like streamline sort of a uh, thing and uh, yeah this line got you just a little bit okay but the, so the uh, like the door got relatively closer I just that uh, yeah uh, make it together Even though I got this out, still I haven't considered the inner side. Yeah, maybe just uh, like this. Then, uh, yeah, the wheel. If I like uh, duplicate it, this two, like a mirror, this two, you should be back like here. And I think I need to add a a. Uh, Just add a mesh cylinder, rotate it uh, 19 degree, and scale it down approximately here. it uh, should be just X axis okay so that would do okay just a hint <laughs> just a hint of course if you don't want this to you know get to uh, down below you can uh, uh, yeah I think I need to like move everything up a little bit so but I, I didn't want to like, move it the whole thing up so uh, I'm going to just to select this car, go to the edit mode and uh, get all this maybe get all this down a little bit since it's a mirror so uh, I don't need to worry too much should cover it so you got from view yeah it's not weird uh, you should approximately cover this uh, like a center thing yeah so I change the proportion as well don't seem to uh, be too influenced by changes that's good We 
just grab one line here. Maybe I should cut it somewhere here. So let's do this. So I think maybe I need to add this and then a tail. So knife. Um, I'm going to cut it here and here. Hopefully this will do. Okay, hopefully this will do. Um, just to grab all this, grab it down. Okay, so this should be uh, uh, hopefully enough space for another wheel. Okay, so yeah, you know the drill. I think I approximately cut in one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so at the least I gotta cut five here. I'm going to go to like a top view uh, but uh, I have to make it transparent so let's just eyeball things so five okay so uh, let's do this so one two three okay four Okay, I got four. So let's uh, let's challenge ourselves and see whether we can finish this with just a four. Select this, with the edge, and yeah, I forgot to slice this up a little bit. So I don't think this will work because if you you know grab this up, yeah, I think I can do this. Okay, I actually can do this. So one, okay, two, three. You know, I think I should get down. Because I think the back of the car should be like the wheel, the back wheel of the car should be a little bigger. So maybe drastically give it like a more space. this duplicates and make it here okay and this I can do the duplication pull inside as well okay so here is our car so it's just like playing with Lego um, it's very like a uh, interesting experience let's add the design got zero and I think the proportion is not good enough I think that's because uh, of the camera setting I I think I uh, test uh, the AI render uh, by using uh, stable diffusion so uh, uh, in order to feed the AI um, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, the camera uh, sort of uh, out that a futuristic car, okay? 
So I uh, I will do that with the final render, uh, maybe like a cyberpunk or anime sort of style. But right now, the line art. Or maybe add some design sort of thing. Okay, uh, we will do that later. We will do that later. Uh, right now, let's just dealing with the uh, uh, the camera. Okay. I just you know got it here. Let's try this line. Yeah, pretty good. Um, let's get the line art. Uh, modifier applying thickness okay so definitely can add some part of thickness uh, and there's a yeah just a one line on the modifier okay we can do with this but of course we can paint on some part okay we can uh, you know add some part of the line because I feel like right now is losing some part of information so all this thing here is losing information um, I'm going to go to edit mode and select the line here and uh, mark three star edge. Okay, and uh, here I'm going to mark this three star edge and three star edge as well, so I can get more detail out. Uh, maybe this. Star edge, okay. So, yeah, maybe this as well. Okay, three star edge. So, when you go to the uh, render mode, just go zero here and get out the, of the uh, edit mode, you can automatically add this line. And uh, then you can start render, test for the results. Right now, uh, as you guys can see, it's kind of a, like a thinking uh, because you send that to the cloud and um, you're using stable diffusion to uh, actually make it more natural. Uh, like, not like this is like a design thing. Okay, so if you, people look at it, it will know that you are using a model that you exported it. And uh, that's bad. That's bad. So AI's result is bad. Um, so of course, uh, it can give you some of the like, a, you know, um, maybe not futuristic. Okay, maybe not that. And uh, I think the line on modifier we can sort of get rid of the summer line, maybe. Or maybe just uh, you know go to the rendered and uh, just line art of a car. Okay, and change that to like noir line art. Okay, let's do this again and see the result. And if you don't want it to like too imaginary, like a like change away from the original design, uh, you can uh, like a decrease. The uh, the generation steps, okay. So it won't like go far away, but uh, like a really respect your original thing, okay. So this is like a, your original. Uh, let me just uh, make it smaller. This is like original one, okay. This is like this rendered one. It uh, yeah, it do a pretty good job if you are just using this as background. Okay, it's, it's kind of like a hand draw. Uh, then you can uh, export that to uh, some software and add some color. Uh, that will be great. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with the result right now. 
And uh, here, the reason that we use Blender is that we can use shading to customize the shading. I think I already made that uh, some like a tune shading multiple times. This, if you haven't seen that already, uh, yeah, do be uh, uh, yeah, do you just uh, look at previous video and. Uh, if you don't want, it's pretty simple, just a shader RGB and a color ramp, nothing too fancy. Change that to constant, add another. Get this middle one here decreased a little bit. Okay, and then go to this lighting here. Uh, let me just grab this light. Okay, the light from. From the front, oh my gosh, let's just make it here and rotate a little bit. Okay, rotate a little bit, uh, make it not so strong, that's bad. Okay, let me just do that gradually. Okay, we can do something like that. And if you think this uh, the shading is not good for you, you can add in more, not so stylized, okay? So for example, you can add, um, like this will be pretty dark, but a little bit of white, so you get like more um, changes, okay? And this will be like a white and dark, yeah, all that you can uh, change this as well. The tire you can just choose that specific material, so everything will be. And uh, yeah, uh, the tire uh, you can just assign this material, so you can apply this shading. And uh, for example, if you don't want all this like a different, like too much of the line. You can adjust uh, the line art modifier here, and we got the, uh, the, 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 the yeah here, yeah. and we can decrease some of the line here, so uh, you won't get like every line. Okay, so uh, it seems that if I decrease, some of the line just disappeared. Okay, uh, that that that's good uh, because we don't want uh, all this like the edges as well as the, um, the all the line of the tire to appear so uh, yeah you can do that uh, to your heart's content okay and F12 you got another render and of course you got another send to the uh, uh, stable diffusion and uh, then you can wait the result and compare uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's good, sometimes it's bad, you may change the seed, okay, so I think it's even better than the last time. Um, it it's really depends on, you know, the this, this seed, as well as the, uh, the uh, uh, advanced option, the uh, image similarity, okay, so if you want, like, a get hold of your style, okay, you, you can just, uh, you know, um, if you got, like, the uh, the text set 0.1 to 0.4 will, will, will turn single render to a new creation around 0.5 to keep a lot of, of the composition um, so I'm transforming to something like the prompt 0.6 and 7 keeps the things more stable between render okay so what I'm going to do is to change that to 0.6 so I want to keep most of the, the things that I did um, Okay, but also I would like to, uh, a little bit of variation. Okay, uh, of course you can use the noise modifier to do that. Yeah. Um, as I uh, like dive deeper into uh, AI, into all this uh, drawing tool, modeling tool, uh, render tool, shading tool, I find that um, yeah we got more and more um, yeah tools for me to choose from. Okay. So this will be a uh, AI render that that uh, most of the time is uh, is look exactly like the same, but uh, adding uh, some of the softness 
um, ironically, <laughs> ironically, uh, as if a human touch. So um, I I believe this one is much better, but this one is is like a reimagined based on my modeling. But uh, it's kind of a, a good one, in fact, a kind of good one. I can use it in in manga uh, as background. So pretty cool. Uh, but of course, I can also at the end time use the model here as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to uh, I'll just animate this a little bit. Okay. So I believe I can select this two together and. Uh, Control A to apply all the transformation. This two as well. The reason for doing that is because I like it to rotate. Okay, so I think I accidentally click the line art. Okay, I'm going to get this two, and uh, I'm going to get the tool here. Item, I believe. So rotation at x axis. I believe frame divided by maybe 20 okay I started to believe maybe it's not okay so <laughs> the center is, is incorrect so let's just uh, we'll be back to zero so I have to like set um, geometry origin to geometry so we just go to the center origin to geometry okay same goes for these two uh, to geometry and origin to geometry so it will like a uh, um, center around the origin we can get this like in a frame divided by 20 uh, I think I have to like I got it the same frame by 20 Okay, let me just copy this. I think I'm going to use this multiple times. So, frame by 20. Frame divided by 20. Okay, go to the camera. Get the line up, working. And let's start our animation. Yeah, I don't know why this is not working. Let's uh, apply this. So why this wheel is not working? I think I already got this like a divided by twenty. Maybe some sort of, some sort of bug, maybe. Frame divided by twenty. Let's let's reapply this. Okay. Frame. Let's go to the first frame. In case you've got something like a frame divided by twenty. Okay. And still it's not working. I don't know why. Okay, I think the back is working while the front is not working. Okay, oh I got this like a modifier. Okay, I must have did something terrible wrong because the modifier uh, the mirror modifier is just a gone. Undo and save. By the way, okay. Here, uh, there's no um, um, no changes. That's good. Um, I'm going to apply the simple. Yeah, I'm going to apply this to and apply this to as well and then I'm going to set origin to right we'll still get the tie here origin to geometry origin to geometry okay so let's do this again hopefully it can work
Okay. Let's uh, get it going. Yeah. Everything's working. Okay. It's working. That's good. Back to the first frame. Set. Origin to geometry. And origin to geometry. Get this rotation working. Front. Okay, we got our car. Pretty cool, huh? And uh, this uh, rotation is definitely too slow. Uh, maybe uh, make it. Can I make it ten. Would be. Okay, that's definitely not the case. So maybe can make it like a sixty. Okay. Some drastic changes. Okay, this is definitely low yeah, lower the rotation. So maybe just to make it one can I do this? Okay, it's really really quick. I'm going to go with the one. Okay, pretty good. And uh, yeah, well, I got our uh, like a first um, car working. Of course, uh, I can uh, add color, add texture, and all that. Uh, but uh, if you like me, you just uh, want to make like a really simple, but reusable base mesh, and uh, use it, maybe uh, base on your um, creation and using AI to sort of render it to save you a little bit of time and to qu quickly create background this is the uh, like the very good time to just stop doing things and continue to uh, to write the story okay the background is pretty good it's already pretty decent uh, if you look at the results okay it's, uh, the tire, all that, okay. Uh, but uh, you have to, you know, clear this up a little bit, okay. Uh, but uh, other than that, it's pretty good. And don't forget to subscribe my uh, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you think my videos help you. Right? So uh, yeah.